Hi everyone, you are on Thrive and Shine. This is a show celebrating life, celebrating men and women who are amazing leaders in this world and who are creating change with the the embodiment. (laughs) I am about to speak better. Um, With the embodiment, my God, I have trouble with that word. Of um, their beliefs, um, their their values, the consciousness that we all need to uh, carry forward in this world in order to create change. So we are all about authenticity and truth, walking in your truth, whatever that truth is. Hopefully that truth is w- aligned with um, a, a level of consciousness that, that propels you forward and everyone around you. On that note, in terms of um, being propelled to higher heights and and um, into into a world of consciousness with my family, I have Mm. the the gift of um, being able to work with my daughter, who is right here with me today, Tasha (laughs) Credel. Welcome again. (laughs) Tasha is um, a private trainer who teaches holistic health and wellness. She is gifted, she is talented, she is educated, and um, she's extremely uh, loving and funny, and I can't say enough, of course, she's my daughter. Oh <laughs> but <laughs> but we, have, um, we have dedicated two shows, um, the past one, as some of you know, and this one, to discuss more of our relationship, talk about our content, talk about uh, what our missions are, because we have two individual missions and brands that are extremely um, different and yet extremely compatible. And we've decided to join them so we can work together and Mm -hmm. I can offer her clients my gifts and and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So We're actually going to dig deeper into the content of the brands today, whereas last time we were a little bit more into our story and into who we are together as mother and daughter, who we are separately as as individuals. And we had a lot of fun just introducing who we are together. Yeah, and just having fun on the show too. It's (laughs) all about fun. Shift and transformation cannot happen. We are separately as as individuals. And there... There was a little glitch there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes. Yeah, so right now we want to also mention to all of our viewers that this is the new moon and we're actually creating this show right now. What It's 1.03. As we speak. Mm-hmm. It is the new moon. And the new moon this uh, time is happening, I believe, in Aquarius. In Aquarius. And Natasha is space- very knowledgeable about yeah. this. I mean, whoa, I'm not like an expert, but I'm really right. into it. So um, there's a f- definitely a few people that I really follow in astrology. Uh, one big account, I guess, I follow on Instagram Instagram is Spirit Daughter, mm-hmm. and she's the one she's who creates cool. these books. Mm-hmm. Uh, every new moon, every full moon, um, it's really uh, a time to reflect, a time to let go, a time to write down your intentions mm-hmm. you want, don't want, want to release, embrace more, bring into your life, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this one is all, it's about it's in Aquarius, so it's all about communication expression of creativity Mm -hmm. um obviously new moons are all about letting go and what do you want to bring in so we just had the full moon in um leo actually yeah exactly in In your sign in my sign in january this last couple two weeks um and then this so that was part of releasing and really ending a chapter so this is starting a new chapter so how can you start this new chapter what do you are fully ready to um, let go of in terms of conditions or what you are or what you don't want and then what do you want to embrace more in terms of dreams mm-hmm. intentions and what baby <clears throat> steps can you take to get there because a lot of the times these moons are so powerful we're uh, constantly driven and passionate and lit up every second of the day like we are today yes. we're just so but the problem with that is that we don't take the time to kind of okay ground we are here Mm -hmm. and this is what we want to achieve we feel it's so wholeheartedly and it's great but you need to plan out your steps so Aquariuses are very um they need to plan they need mm. the organization behind it. So oh, this is a, this is a that. great okay. time to just really look step by step. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is my dream. What can I do to get there? Mm-hmm. 
And then what, what do else? I need to call in? Yes. To, to my, be able, to my space. Yeah. To be able to, to achieve mm -hmm. whatever it is you want to achieve, whether mm -hmm. it's a big dream, career, relationship, who you want to become, uh, manifesting something in your life. Right. And also, um, like I said, it's about communication. So, so what are you calling in? Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> hey, it's one thing to talk about stuff. We need to like what take action on what in? we talk about. Honestly, I was like, like I was doing my little booklet last night and I remember there was like I showed you there was like the little uh, places for foundation. So like right. my, a big theme, theme for me, I think this year is creating foundations for myself. Mm. So I was just like, not, I'm not going to think like too much about it. I'm just going to write it down. And the first the top one was empowerment. And I was like, oh, that's pretty intense and then um uh under under it was like masculine feminine and i guess finding the balance between that mm -hmm. and then i can't help you with that oh <laughs> well then you should have told you me know, it's kind of my thing <laughs> <laughs> i know that's why you're my mom you're a great coach um yeah so uh, masculine feminine always like trying to find that balance and then uh truth balance itself and like how to find yourself within your own balance um creativity how to really tap into your inner power and how to bring this up um for myself for other people for my work for mm -hmm. how can i bring more light into the world basically mm -hmm. i feel like even lately i'm having more calls like that are that i'm just giving to people and like mm -hmm. i'm totally okay with it and mm -hmm. i want to be that person mm -hmm. to help mm -hmm. and i really think it's a big part that i think now we're we're kind of missing and we're, we need to do more of you know mm -hmm. to just mm -hmm. just give mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so well yeah life is about giving and what are you uh what i'm calling okay all right what i'm calling go. in yeah well <laughs> what i'm calling in is um it's very clear to me this this time as well i'm calling in more um authentic um and very so truthful and authentic um communicate hold on <laughs> <laughs> i didn't even get there My i God. know but i just have a question <laughs> okay but so hold your horses okay. as you tell me all the time all right so i'm calling in um authentic powerful and collaborative um contacts and and uh, people in my life in order to to create more in a co-creative way, actually. So in to in order to co-create with those people exactly what my vision is mm. for my work this year. So I'm also <clears throat> extremely intentional. I was just sharing that with our beautiful Tony here, who is... Uh, who is the <laughs> owner of this network, UBN Network, a little Aww. bit of publicity here. <laughs> <laughs> and I was sharing that um, I'm being uh, way more um, uh, intentional about where I spend my time and how I spend my time and with whom I spend my time. Mm. Is, it, is, is, this, is this moment with this person in this location for this event really aligned with where I'm going this and who year you are. and who I am. And so last year, because I had just gotten here to in LA, I really was everywhere. I was meeting everybody. Ev I was doing everything. I was like all over the mm. map. I remember you had events like almost nearly every day. Oh yeah, it was crazy. And so I needed to do that in order to mm -hmm. kind of check this place out and get to find my own way. Mm -hmm. This year it's different. I really want to, um, you know, be co-creating with very specific people and you know i'm i'm invited to speak on a few stages i'm um and i and i'm 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 finishing my book um so there are a lot of really important things that i need to do this year in order to get to where i'm going and touch as many of of you beautiful women's lives and men and in order to achieve that i need to be very intentional i need I think we all need that to be honest because mm -hmm. we can't a lot of the times we think um like for example like <clears throat> one of the things I thought about last night one one thing that we have to think all all the time with new moons also is like um forgiveness like how, what can you forgive in terms of yourself people things moments in your life what can you forgive and it's funny because I caught myself saying I forgive Instagram for its stupid algorithms <laughs> and but it's true because like this I entire forgive Instagram watch it okay yeah, because, <laughs> no but 
because I'm just like for so long, so many of us that actually have such a good message to give, we can't seem to grow our Instagram or touch the amount of people that we want to just mm. because of its algorithms. And I, f- I feel and felt for maybe nearly two years, like trying so hard to get the right mm-hmm. content, trying mm-hmm. so hard to write the right captions, trying so hard mm-hmm. all the time, countless hours, countless work. And last night it kind of clicked. I'm like, you know, energy transfers and what yes. you project, you attract. And I was like, you know what? I've been hating on it for so long. Why don't I just love and accept my mm-hmm. Instagram for mm-hmm. what it is now? And maybe it just wasn't meant to grow at that time because mm-hmm. it wasn't aligning with the right people that I want to show my work to anyways. Right. So Perfect. I literally I forgave that. that entire... I was like, whoa, like that is so strange, but I'll take it. Like, But it's- what I like about this is, is that um, while you are wanting to spread your message in a mm. in a in a commercial way yeah. because Instagram is all about business right. I mean it's the business of, it is it's my of, business uh, like it's, totally it's your business but as Instagram is in the business of exposing people mm-hmm. in the business of marketing um yet for some of us who are extremely authentic with our mission mm-hmm. and brands um it's sometimes um it gets us to focus too much on the actual marketing rather than simply the truth of what we're doing and whatever happens and of course we want more followers but it's not about followers let's remind let's remember that yeah like i have a good amount of followers and i'm happy with that but it's just i I had to remind myself that okay you know what like i'd rather have authentic and real followers that Mm -hmm. are super engaging with me and my and what i project and put out there and that they love it rather than like have 100k and like nobody really cares they're just following me because like, i post my ass like i'm sorry but i'm not going to do that and 100k so. is 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 amazing and beautiful as long as you in my opinion in our opinion what are your intentions as long as um it's being created it's being done it's been accomplished mm-hmm. this 100k or this amount of of success in terms of instagram success mm-hmm. um in a truthful way yeah in a way that's completely aligned with your consciousness and your values that's Mm -hmm. all that's all we're saying so it's like people buying followers to me like i've been told to like buy followers all the time and i'm like i'm sorry but i'm not gonna do that i can't (laughs) let myself do that because i'm in it's fake it's It's fake and even though it'll make other people believe like unfortunately people are sheep well not all but some are so when they see like oh she has a lot of followers i'm gonna follow her because she has so many there mm -hmm. must be a reason right and i'm like "Uh -uh, i'm not going there i'd rather just like stick to my number now than to not have the appropriate or like the same audience that, as you were talking about beforehand yeah. just like with right intentions so anyway so to to shift from that actually it's a perfect segue to to get into more of your content mm-hmm. and into your brand and into your work because um in our family and and the work that we do and how we show up in our lives and in the world it really matters to us to be as truthful as we can and and i talk about this all the time this is what i why i use the word authentic so much which Mm -hmm. is starting to bug me actually that word (laughs) i think that and and my daughter is laughing at me all the time she's like give it up with that word like Um, i love the word and unfortunately it's it you know i'm sure i'm sure some of you will agree it's a little bit overused And so authentic to me means being real, being true, being true to who you are, being, and in order to do that, you have to get to know who you are. You have to know what you stand for Mm -hmm. and, and not, um, you know, not be seduced by, uh, an Instagram following mm-hmm. number or bu- not being seduced by, com- you know, aligning with companies that can perhaps give you a ton of success instantaneously, um, yet will not be in your best interest long term and will not be the reflection of mm-hmm. your truth and your level of consciousness. So that's, mm-hmm. that's an, you know, as we rise to the level of success material or or i guess financial success we want it's really important that we stay true to who we are and so so in in your work um can i just mention something before i forget because i thought it was like super it just like popped into inside my head i think inside your head inside in my head or maybe in your heart who knows both (laughs) (laughs) just is um i think the problem with um radiating or embodying our authentic truths 
right now these days with Instagram, with corporate companies, with positions, with who we are or want to be or all this, it's sometimes we look at so many different people from an, from a different perspective we look at what they are what they they uh what they project and mm-hmm. sometimes we get so caught up in this vortex of social media that we actually try to convince ourselves that we are that and that that becomes a false truth and then we have a lot of trouble coming out of that till one day something's like wait a second is this who i really am and i find a I lot think it of happens people more, are like that and i'm sorry to come back to this millennial thing no but that i agree because we don't know yeah, who we are at all exactly so there's well, no like there's no ground there's no foundation like it's just right. we grew up with it right so it was automatic right. and then exactly. now at this age now we're starting to realize like now oh, that you're all mature wait. Oh, yes, so mature. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're starting to realize like, oh my God, yeah. wait, I don't want to do this yeah. every day, all day. And, I d- and like, for us, it's actually for us being the, the, the generation of the parents of these millennials. Um, it's actually a little bit, it's been challenging for mm-hmm. us to adapt. Understand. Well, understand, adapt, and sometimes even get ourselves to 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 being part of that. I mean, right. there is a resistance we feel from our standpoint in 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 terms of you know being part of it because to us it feels quite superficial and it feels like it's mm-hmm. a false, like you said, a false yeah. um, a false truth. Mm-hmm. Of don't success, e- like I've seen right? so many people, they don't even realize, you know, like I've seen them grow up and then I've seen them shift and I genuinely hold so much space and light for them and I feel bad because I'm like, they have no idea mm. that they've been sucked into this vortex, but mm-hmm. it's part of their path to learn. Mm-hmm. So we can't do anything about it, even as parents or friends or whatever, mm-hmm. like everyone has their own path. We can only speak about it. Of and, course. And, and just like bring awareness yeah. to it. And then if it clicks to you, if there's a little part of you that's like, oof, that hurts or like that, like s- there's a signal there. It's probably because there's truth behind it for yourself. Yeah. So, yeah. Good that's one. basically what I wanted to put out there. That's perfect. Yeah. Shift to you. Beautiful. Shift to me. Shift to you. What does that mean? We are shifting to your work. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're shifting into understanding, embracing more of um, who you are and what right. you do. Yeah. And I want to give um, you this platform for really telling us exactly how you do what you do. So as a private trainer who teaches holistic health and wellness, Mm -hmm. first tell us what that means and give us give us um, a few reasons why you have chosen Mm. this particular work. And as an entrepreneur, because you are an entrepreneur, this is your own business. Yes. You've educated yourself through, you know, so um, weird to even like say that out loud. (laughs) I know, right? It's a big deal. And it's already been like two two plus years. Yeah. So I started at I was almost 23, which is so strange. Why is it strange? No, strange, like good strange. I just never, I don't know. Like when I was growing up, it was always like, what do you want to be? And I'm like, I don't know. I want to be a vet. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a scientist. And my parents were like, what? Like, why does she keep shifting? I wanted to be a lawyer at one point. I just loved like a challenge. You love learning. Learning. I love learning, but I hate school. Well, because unfortunately ah, so the yeah, tr- the, the apple whole, doesn't uh, fall far yeah. from the tree we are a little rebellious a little we bit. love learning just a little bit oh, just a little bit but actually a lot yeah and we love learning i mean we are on a on a on a uh, lifelong learning path i mean yeah. I've, I've been we don't in, stop. i've been this sometimes way. it's like a disease because we just literally cannot stop like i cannot put books down i can't stop researching i can't stop looking into well, you deeper love it things so much. i do love it but yeah. sometimes it's like <clears throat> i need to breathe it's like it's actually a challenge for some of the people. Yes. I mean, it was a challenge for me at first till I became aware of it. And then I was like, oh, okay, I get it. Like, I was able to manage it better. But So you chose this work because... Yes. Um, and as a result of what? Actually, it's like looking back at it now, it's been part of like everything leads to everything right so growing up like you remember I was I've always struggled with weight um I was always kind of like I've I mean you're so like petite and little and my sister grew up like being older and she was also smaller than me and I was kind of like the taller one like the one that kind of went through an ugly phase and like it's just moms keep saying no it's okay just just whatever let's move on but it really for me I was always struggling with uh self-acceptance self love um and just understanding i remember like even when i was 12 13 when we went when our family went through the divorce i remember emotionally eating 100 it was fully emotionally eating and i remember 
being in that moment and thinking, I don't even know what food is. Like, I don't even know what I'm ingesting in terms of like calories. Like, what are calories? Does this really affect me or not? Like, my brain was just so confused as to what was actually happening. Hmm. And I was like, this is you never shared I just, this one with me. Yeah, it was it was very weird. I had a lot of moments like that. Like, I didn't know what food was. Like it, the like, meaning you mean? Yeah, in the terms of, of like okay. that, it's feeding us, it's providing us with the nutrients that we need to grow, to be. Um, what kind of energy it gives us in terms of like spiritual, emotional, physical? Like it affects everything. Everything right. affects everything. But so so yeah, that was part of it. And then I grew up always being in that like limbo of like not getting it slash trying to find my balance slash I just don't even know what's happening anymore started to get into more into fitness did bikini competitions twice uh placed pretty good I think and I saw my body change before my eyes in like ways I never even imagined the problem was with that was that it I had I had the body that I've always dreamed of having but the worst habits in the world in terms of like it was basically anorexia just camouflage with bikini competitions like I was tiny Mm -hmm. like it was scary what served you is that you're very disciplined so you she was um, obsessedly I was obsessively rather um, disciplined around the whole thing which which served the outcome. However, the path to that outcome was extremely destructive. And we talked a little bit about that. So I don't want to go back to that and yeah. how you experienced that and how, you but know, that we was, found I had, support I had, for you. I had to, yeah, like, I, like, there's no point of going back all the way to that. But um, I'm very happy because I, that it all happened. And that there was a huge part of me that I had to forgive myself for putting my body through all that and accept that it, it happened for the reason why it happened. And the the outcome of it is I, I had my spiritual awakening mm-hmm. because I was so low in energy. L- it literally, like, I had no more light left in my body. I remember Donna Marie, like, my mentor at the time, like, I remember having a session with her maybe four days before my competition. She's like, there is no light to your soul. I'm like, mm-hmm. all right, that's a nice way of putting it. But you she's were like, very dark. It was, it was just darkness. Yeah. And yeah. I didn't even notice. I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm just going to do my competition. Did my competition. We went on vacation, came back. I was all messed up. And and then I was like, again, I was like, what is food? I mm-hmm. don't understand what food is. So and why then, did you make it your business? Uh, because I understood, I can understand and I see a lot of women specifically because we're so emotional, we're so in tune, we're so intuitive that we we don't understand that all these different things in foods, thoughts, emotions, uh, emotional traumas, uh, our childhood, uh, things that we put, everything, everything affects our entire bodies. And there are energy blockages in our bodies and they can affect our organs and they affect what we crave and how we work out and how we feel our bodies and how it lights us up to be in a state of creativity or focus through our work. Like it's endless. It Mm -hmm. affects everything. It Mm -hmm. affects our flow. And when you're not in flow with yourself and your body and your spirit, and if you don't take care of yourself, your flow around you is just a mess right and it's not you you end up attracting things that are not aligned with your highest self right and so, then so the foods that we choose to eat mm-hmm. will will allow us to be in in our power in our mm-hmm. light basically what that means is allows it it fuels us for who we want to be on Absolutely. the outside right so it's just like um like if you're gonna be if you're gonna eat junk like ever notice i notice right away now because my body is so sensitive and i and i allow it to have come to this point i like that it's sensitive now because i'm Mm -hmm. able to see but let's say i eat junk food i literally feel like the next day like my brain fog is so like it's there i'm like i'm so not clear i'm like no it's not the sugar well i mean it could be the sugar but it's the fat it's the fried food it's it's the chemicals in it it's endless the pesticides just the crap Mm -hmm. whatever it is that you decide to eat that was not clean will affect your insides, will affect your brain fog, your energy, your flow of your chakras. You are what um, you eat. I exactly. Mean, but on old, all levels. like you, That's an old yeah. saying, right? Yeah, I mean, of course. But now it's like even more. It's like every thought, every book, every every word, every even the way that we express ourselves. If mm-hmm. we uh, say certain words, that's why we meditate. You can do chakra meditations with uh, Lam or Nam or and it, it resonates within our chakras and our bodies to unlock these these areas that Mm -hmm. really prevent our bodies from even absorbing nutrients like that's crazy when Mm -hmm. i when i discovered all that i was like oh my god like one of the biggest things i've noticed and that i've discovered is that the 
it's actually a fact the number one chakra imbalance in our society especially for women is our solar plexus mm, and our it power is center our power center and it's Aha. literally in the middle of both your spiritual aspect of your chakra so your mm-hmm. top and then your physical uh, aspect of us being here in the world so our bottom so our so, sacral yeah, the our root, it's right in the middle the groundedness of who we exactly are. Mm-hmm. and so when that's not in balance we don't digest properly we have bloating we have ibs we have liver problems we have gallbladder problems uh pancreas problems and then that affects our cravings so our cravings we crave more carbs crave more chocolates because it affects our third eye so we don't see clearly that affects our throats so we don't speak clearly and that affects Mm -hmm. our root chakra so we're not grounded so we're literally Mm -hmm. a mess Mm -hmm. but it's all just because of a chakra and it it affects everything Mm. but people think it's like almost it's taboo it's like no there's no way but i'm like pay attention to it and if you just observe if you just observe and you take the time to every single day if you know that you have a a solar plexus imbalancement just take the 10-15 minutes a day just meditate on that and envision yellow and envision the light and your center and your power and getting clear on that observe how mindful you you will become with your food how mindful you will become of your body Mm -hmm. and how connected you will be to your food and the power it gives you on a daily basis and how your cravings are actually going to reflect what your body needs absolutely not something that you you all of a sudden decide to eat like chips or Mm -hmm. sugar whatever yeah out of so like so like sometimes you crave chips right right so Mm -hmm. when you (laughs) and i allow myself to eat chips. but if we've noticed if we've noticed those days where you crave chips it's a day of boredom we're at home we're doing nothing there's no spunk in our lives what so do we, you mean there is no spunk in my <laughs> no, life but there's always spunk but i mean yeah, there's, no kidding. Oh, that, there's always spunk in our lives but i'm, I'm saying it's that crunch it's the it's the the, the feeling well of, for it, me it also it's that oomph in your ears you i know, love when the you're, crunch i've always loved, loved crunch right and i also love the these days the the salt i think it has to mm-hmm. do with my thyroid because i do ha- i'm a hypothyroid um right I have a hypothyroidic t- condition. Mm-hmm. And so I think the salt is, is... I crave more salt these days than I than crave sugar. sugar. Yeah. yeah. And then most women that crave sugar is a lot of the times they are craving um, for the sweetness of life. They're missing mm. that. Oh, Yeah. And it is... It's that's I know. Sad. And so... But that's why when I have my clients, um, sometimes they want to do detoxes or they just want a meal plan or they want a, uh, a health consult call. Um, I get them to fill out a chakra a diagnosis mm-hmm. questionnaire because mm-hmm. I need to see for myself what's going on. And so give balance. us an example of some of the clients that you're working with right now. I know that... We, oh, man. That it's you so have, interesting. Like... So so you've um, advertised recently yeah. on Instagram mm-hmm. uh, that you uh, were customizing a liver detox that we actually Not a tried. liver detox. Well, hold on. I'm getting to it. Okay, I'm just we've, making it clear. It's not a liver detox. We've done a liver detox yes. recently together when we just landed back from France mm-hmm. we, on the 9th. We, di- we did a, a nine day. Well, I did six days. <laughs> um, you did nine days liver liver detox that was amazing, right? Mm-hmm. Um, we want to mention also this this man's name. Um, he's he's an he's Anthony a, Williams, the medical medium. Yeah, he's amazing. Mm-hmm. I we love his teachings. You are amazing, Anthony. If ever you come across our our, <laughs> our podcast yeah. here, and um, there, I mean, there, like I like we did this because I was we were curious to try it right, too, right? Exactly, and it, the results were amazing, unbelievable. But also, like I also you didn't experience. Like the symptoms that I experienced afterwards. Well, because you did it for nine days, right? And but, I stopped at six, right? Yeah. So I like he is amazing. I think his work is amazing. But just like everybody else, take a little bit from with a grain of salt, right? Exactly. You know what I mean. So yeah. not ev- like this detox may not work for everybody. It may work for a lot of people, right? And I did notice a lot of good changes within my body. It was great, but I next time I do it, I'm that's why I'm customizing my own mm. detoxes because I'm I've taken so, right. little pieces from all these places that i've learned so you've customized it you've mon- you've basically not, uh, put not it- that though not the liver detox no, i understand okay so you've customized the detox mm-hmm. to your audience and you've had great success with the clients that have come to you mm-hmm. through the the customization of this um detox so so what are your clients looking for yeah so um the customized detoxes that i create are not all the same Mm-hmm. So that's why they're customized. So they of come course. in, they tell me what they need, and I put it according to what they need. So it's not 
for the liver i'm just making clear it's not for the liver it's not but so when they come in it could be a lot of different people like i get messages of people having ibs the bloating um and then nothing else is wrong but then i have some people that have their entire lives they've been sick they've had pneumonia they've had laryngitis constantly um urinary tract infections uh brain fog addictions to caffeine um then i have other people just kind of feeling off and they know that something's up but they don't know what it is Mm -hmm. and they just want to clear their system to just kind of feel realigned which i totally get that um i think that was like one of my biggest things too when we tried this detox Mm -hmm. um some of them want to realign the hormones uh balance again and feel connected a lot of them miss that connection that mind body I, soul connection yeah and i i do believe that this is actually a theme in our society today is we are all missing connection we are wired mm. to be connected mm-hmm. um whether it's connected within to what we are and who we are to our chakras to our bodies to understand what are the signs in our bodies mm. that are telling us that this is off or this person is off we don't mm. trust those signs right mm. and so, and and hold on and okay. and so as you were talking about the 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 solar, solar plexus. plexus for me i teach my clients where those signs I- are located mm. when yes. they feel all um when they feel sorry um, um misaligned and and if they are feeling constriction inside and where that's a sign for them to Mm -hmm. take seriously so that they listen and they know that this is not a situation or a person they want to be in or Mm -hmm. be with yeah so the signs that are within are indicators they're they're providing a um a possibility for us to connect Mm -hmm. to what we need to know about ourselves and on the outside the this lack of connection is also happening Mm -hmm right and so people are wired for connection so it's so interesting that you're saying that people that you come to you it's their main theme is a lack of connection yeah i mean it's it's all it's all connected back to each other and the worst part that people don't realize is our bodies are self-healing organisms so Mm -hmm. if there's something wrong our bodies are constantly trying to talk to us it's trying to tell us like hey man like i'm not feeling well you need to fix this i've tried to help you it's not working for me you need to do something about Mm -hmm. this but we're kind of like meh it's okay my doctor says it's fine that is the worst thing ever in my opinion as i get so many clients of my doctors discount doctors no 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 i've met a lot of amazing doctors it's not it's not that's not what i'm trying to say at all so it's not yeah, yeah. that's not it but i'm just saying like there's a lot of doctors that are unaware that just pres- i have clients who were prescribed steroids without even being tested for anything like that to me makes me so Cringe. sad it mm. makes me sad that they these women don't they don't even know and they assume they're doctors they don't know better so they just they follow because they're told to mm-hmm. and yet they know that for years on end something is wrong and mm-hmm. they don't know what to do about it and they feel lost and they don't know where else to look mm-hmm. and it's just yeah Mm -hmm. we need to shift we need to start Mm -hmm. understanding that the gut feeling the connection with yourself the connection with others it is real Mm -hmm. you need to listen to it Mm -hmm. it's our soul speaking it's our bodies speaking so give us um before we shift um to to another another chapter in in this in this show give us an example of a typical client someone that you'd like to showcase as i mean you don't, mm. no mention of name right. but you know how have you helped this particular person G- can you give mm. us an example oh man i don't know who to choose there's okay. so many different ones or choose choose several that that um i really i find it uh interesting again it's people that uh want to lose weight for example i have a lot of people that want to lose weight lose the inflammation um they know they're, they're holding on to a lot of water and they want to do a detox or eat better and they can't seem to allow themselves to. Mm. And um, they have trouble committing. And that's why I find the detox has really helped them because it's so guided. It's mm-hmm. so, it's like mm-hmm. pinpoint, like just follow it, you'll be fine. And part of it within these detoxes is that I also include meditations and chakra diagnosis and um, affirmations, and all these things. Because when you do these detoxes, not only do you kind of reset your body into being aligned with you, but you are also releasing a ton of junk toxicity, also emotionally. So your body taps into organs that hold in certain emotions that you've held on for years decades Mm -hmm. months on end of anything of traumas or um, just perceptions of things that have hurt us so this detox is intense but you really end up leaving it behind you like thinking oh my god i totally cleared so much 
and not just from foods and and toxic metals and all this stuff Mm -hmm. it's it's a full reset because our bodies rejuvenate on the foods that we eat so the the perfection in this Mm -hmm. in in the way that we work together is that when i work with a client in 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 my work um in my business in my brand um you are able to help her mm. shift yes. faster. It's so much fun. More efficiently um, and more truthfully yeah. in a physical way and, mm-hmm. a, and, and of course, spiritual way because I work also very uh, much aligned with, with spirit. Mm-hmm. So it's so fascinating because we have not particularly programmed this working together. I mean, I started yeah, just kind this of business so far. You know, exactly. So, yeah. so but it's very I, interesting that you like if like looking from an outside perspective i find it so beneficial if somebody takes the time to do a detox before they actually start to work on themselves in terms of business Mm -hmm. in terms of spiritually with you because a lot of the times you can get people that want to work and they want to do the work with you but they're not clear because they have all this misalignment uh, blockages in their bodies from food from emotion so if you get to if you give yourself the opportunity to clear that to then be able to work it's it's the work progress is unbelievable yeah and for me the on my end my biggest um my biggest uh um i guess bump uh, Mm. for the people who are the women who are looking to work with me is Mm. commitment and i think it's because they're not clear they're not clear on that's the number one problem it's a clarity and so if they can so if they can you know, actually go through a cleanse. It's it yeah. right before they work with me. Mm-hmm. It would be hallelujah kind yeah. of situation well, be, because yeah, it would, it's it like would it really would, help. It gets rid of all that stuff. Like I said, so you're just you're even the way that you look at life. You're just like so clear. You're like oh my, like every yeah, like I, the, the colors are bright. Everything sounds better. Like tastes better. Taste tastes better. I remember mm-hmm. like the, my celery juice tasting sweet, and I was like, what? How is mm-hmm, this even possible? Mm-hmm. Like I, we weren't even craving anything. I lost a lot like, of inflammation. I same, actually lost a lot so of much. weight. Like um, I, I look like I lost ten pounds within like six days it was ridiculous mm-hmm. i'm like this is i never thought that i would experience i mean yeah like i said the after effects were a little bit hard on my body because i wasn't really paying attention to my hormones and that's a whole other story but that's right. why i do the you know customized ones now but yeah so the beauty of um the work that we do together um and of course the women who choose to to work with me mm-hmm. do not have to work with natasha um but it is highly recommended because of the added benefit mm-hmm. and and so the the mission that um that is my mission that complements natasha's mission is that i um i work to shift high power and high performance women into a being that is enabling them to um, merge the, the 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 fierce warrior masculine essence within them that is necessary for the business world and for um, being strategic and um, and 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 very uh, head based in the business world and I. I teach them how to merge that um, with the feminine essence that they are they've been gifted since birth and the, this feminine essence is all about flow it's all about beauty it's about tr- tr- truth and transparency and openness and playfulness and so imagine a world where you can be um, every day with your grace and your fierceness hmm. in business so that you go through negotiations perhaps at a board table with so much more ease and flow Mm. and clarity as well as you can also um, deal with people around you men and women because I have a lot of my clients who are experiencing um, difficulties with the men in this world who are maybe not as supportive as other men with women and they're and they're and they're you know and and they are creating even more of a glass ceiling for them to to hit on a constant basis so that's that's you know one of the themes of my of the ladies I work with but imagine that you can actually flow through this world of business in a way that um, attracts only what you really want um, through grace and through a fierce boldness having the two energies Ooh, boldness. and the two um, essences merged into one and being able to be so magnetic mm. that people around you are influenced by you 
in an organic way. Mm -hmm. It is not a forceful um, um, effort on your on your behalf to to create wealth, to create success, mindful and you conscious. Just embody success. that that energy, and people feel that. Yeah, you embody that power, mm -hmm. that power that comes from the merge of those two essences. And when you merge them, when you merge those two essences. Um, you actually also are way more capable on the outside to embrace ma masculine power, mm -hmm. to embrace and understand and also work with men who are sometimes, n you know, the, the, the obstacles on our path um, simply because they work in a specific way. And I'm not putting all men in the same basket here I always always be I'm always extremely careful and cautious to to make clear that um, there are men who do not know how to work and embrace women in the business world or in the personal way intimate way as well yet there are some that are amazing and we and we and I want to celebrate those men I want to showcase those men mm -hmm. I want to um, I want to um, be extremely respectful of of men in general and it's been a struggle for most of us women working in the business world it, mm. it, our biggest struggle has been how to be um influencing um in a positive way those men around us who are continuously putting obstacles on our path right so mm. that's my work that's and i do it through um events and i do it through coaching and I do mm. it through speaking and I do it simply by embodying that to begin with mm -hmm. because nothing I teach is is what I have not experienced I um, mean that's you have to you have to it's been quite a challenge for me to um get to this point not a challenge it's been um a journey yeah. for me to get to this point where I can identify within myself uh, what comes up that leads me to go into more of the masculine mm -hmm. or more in the feminine mm. and and how to navigate through that so that yeah. um, I can actually teach it mm -hmm. now and it's been amazing it has it's mm -hmm. been an interesting journey that's for sure and for you to watch me <laughs> oh boy <laughs> in a good way in a good way it's yeah. uh it's definitely been i mean we spoke about this last time on our right. last podcast so if you guys are curious about our story you can just go and check yes. out the last podcast that we did last week yes. but um it's definitely bit, like it's you've brought a lot of inspiration for me too because it's your triggers are could be also my triggers or for somebody mm -hmm. else any any type of when, when you grow and you dedicate yourself to personal growth and to kind of like waking up like it's not just for you because you're also encouraging others around you and the and you're in in it like uh vibrating that energy yourself exactly that, like it creates well, a magnet to others and like oh what is she doing and it's so it. and it's so it's not just for you it's it's for others it's for your family it's for your friends it's for the world or society it's, our it's, generation and it starts like, with you it, it starts all starts with, with you yeah so it's, it's the only way exactly so um are we shifting to another subject or can we do like our fun question part now let's do our fun okay, question that was a lot I of think serious talk it's so. a lot of serious talk so <laughs> natasha you're gonna have are we doing like all five questions you yeah. and then or do we no, alternate like one one by one all right fine so, so i came up with the idea because i'm so smart <laughs> oh well <laughs> ego is coming in here i'm kidding <laughs> oh my god um i know i came up with the idea that just to let loose i guess at the end of our podcast sometimes yes. it can get serious whatever that we just ask either three to five questions about it could literally be anything something ridiculous and then you, does anybody have questions oh yeah so somebody because we're live actually somebody, also on instagram oh, on natasha's instagram so somebody asked me if this is only on Instagram. No, it is not only on Instagram. You can find us on the actual podcast app on iTunes under Thrive and Shine. Make sure you click uh, search because then it will show up. We unfortunately don't have enough reviews yet. So please take the time to leave a review. That will bring mm -hmm. up our rankings like crazy. And That'd we would really, really appreciate it. It takes a literally five to ten seconds to do just anything. You can comment about our outfits, how we always match, or you can talk about how funny I am or how and informative we don't actually it is. Plan we don't plan to match. this. No. It just happens. Yes. So yeah. So you can look us up there. It's also on um Tatiana's haha <laughs> Tatiana's Facebook? Fake, Facebook page under uh, Tatiana Judy 
ideas, uh, power strategists, radiance catalysts for business warriors. Wow, I yes. actually read that from afar. That was great. Great eyesight. Um, yep. Okay, let's move into okay. questions. So, so you want to no? Go. You start. Gosh. It's your idea. Okay. You go for it. What's your favorite way to let loose? Dance like a crazy woman, maybe naked in my house oh with boy. some crazy. <laughs> Well, if you're not around, I know. And, you know, but I'm, I mean, I'm let's be real. Sometimes it doesn't matter if I am around or not. So. <laughs> um, yeah, that to me is my favorite way to get rid of emotions or go crazy. Um, let let Creep loose slow. with um, maybe. Oh, yeah, I love music and I love mm. it loud. Yeah. Most people find it way too loud for mm. them, but I don't really care. They don't need to be in my space when I let loose that way. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it's dance. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Good answer. How's your love life, Tash? Oh, boy. <laughs> Sometimes there are parts of my life that are a little bit messy, but that's okay. Hey, mess um, is good. I mean, it's not bad mess. It's just like searching for clarity at this point like mm -hmm. i'm just kind of like more going into myself um doing more work in terms of uh getting out of like society's boxes in terms of relationships and um Finding especially own, within yeah. our generation mm -hmm. so um i'm just kind of like exploring at the moment in terms of what i really want and uh what really serves me in a sense of what gives me the joy gives me the love exactly what i want like i but i had to take the time to really kind of discover that because i don't fully know yet and that's okay you know so i'm just okay so i'm like reading books i'm like asking myself like what do you really want you know and, and speak that time. truth um when you are within the proximity of a potential partner mm -hmm. is challenging for you yeah totally it's um It's funny because I always teach about being in your truth, but mm -hmm. yet here I am, still learning on my own as well. So well, and, and, and it's part and, of it. And your truth changes. Oh because, my god, right? immensely! But so I, the more in tr the tr in my truth I am, like the more like my truth and my world and my creativity, everything kind of flows better. And I'm just like, yes, like this is actually working. It's crazy. I'm super happy about it. So everything has a time in their lives, and right now my love life is what it is, and I'm totally okay with it. And I'm just open. So. Perfect. Yeah. Next question. Okay. <laughs> if you had to choose. Oh, she wrote them down. Yeah. You cheater. If oh, I told crap. you to write them down. If you had to choose between. I mean, I can't. No, I don't know this answer. Okay. If you had to choose between running naked in the rain or having a mud fight, what would it be? I think a mud fight. I think so too. Would that be fun? Yeah. yeah. Because I run naked in my house. I know. Like that's why I was like, oh my God. I already know the answer because she just said she already dances naked. I think naked. a mud fight. Yeah. For, first of all, remember when we were in Costa Rica and we did this mud bath thing with Yeah, and you sister? lost. I, <laughs> anyways. So I think mud is that very... That was so much fun. Um, it's it's regrounding, right? Yes. Because it's like earth. It's yeah. like you're, you're touching. Very healing. It's, very healing. Yeah okay that's fun done done um next oh my god i didn't write them down so um what's uh where do you want where do you see yourself to be in five years oh, quick man, quick answer not on. and don't give me like the low down uh, long i just want to be okay the, uh, the laundry list okay, a little Uh, I I just want to be happy. I just want to be clear. What does that I mean? Want, I just want to be happy. Oh, Everybody uh, says that. I, so on, then girl. I can't. Honestly, I cannot give you. I can't give you an answer. I don't know because I did not expect I would be here two years ago. And uh -huh. how how am I supposed to even imagine? Nor did is, you imagine being oh, on a no. radio show with me because no. you discouraged me. Yeah. What? Oh, that is so true. <laughs> I have to. Say, yeah, it is true. I was Tony, like, you're sorry, crazy. But, uh, yeah, What are you like, doing? Like, yeah. uh, uh. So yeah, I yeah. So that was me. But uh, so I can't give you an answer. But I would love to give you an answer at some point. But I don't have even an answer for me as to what's going to happen tomorrow. So okay. It is so what it is. Maybe it wasn't such a crazy question after all. So my apology. It's a serious question. It's okay. Question, it's right? a kind of a serious question. Yeah. Um, I'm asking you a question. What's your okay. favorite crystal? If, I mean, if you don't know the name, just like describe it and like how how does it make you feel? I so I can't remember the name of this of this uh, crystal. It was blue, like the uh, turquoise. It, was, it wasn't turquoise. It was in the shape of a heart, and it it uh, I used to carry it with me all the time until I went um, to. I'm part of this Shakti leadership. Um, Quick uh, answers, woman group, and we <laughs> had to give each other. At some at the end of the this um, week of all being together, these mm -hmm. women being together, we had to give each other a present. And I had joined this group at the last second. I didn't mm -hmm. know I was supposed to bring a present, mm -hmm. so I gave this girl. And it has to be random. So basically, random, random. <laughs> so basically, we put it in the center. All the little gifts, right? Yeah, she makes fun of my accent. 
in, in the center of the room and people basically go to what they're drawn to. So I put my heart, I gave, I gave away what I loved mm. most in, in what I had with me mm. and it became my favorite because I gave it away. So you don't have it anymore? I don't. Oh, oh that's sad. I'll get you no. another one. Don't worry okay. about it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the laughing Buddha. It's not a crystal, but oh, you yeah. gave it I to me. Oh, yeah. I got that on guillotine Bali yeah. when I decided yeah. to like literally yeah. live my last, like 2018, most yeah. of it was on that island. If not, it's the white one that I, I have big ones and small ones. That right, the quartz. The, correct. Yeah. I love that because uh, yeah, somehow Yeah, quartz are super just... grounding and they're, um, you don't have to cleanse them. They just kind of do the job as is. They yeah. cleanse you. They cleanse your crystals. They're just there. That's, they're good, positive white light. It's big great. big ones and small ones. I wear them. I, I'm always is wearing some yep. kind of crystal or stone so Always. i use them this is uh this one is for love this one has the energy and Aww, meaning of love that's so cute i know right and uh yeah so i use them for protection and cool okay back to me i mean um last one uh, better be a good one so um let's go I'm waiting <laughs> what's your favorite food my favorite food yeah favorite no don't give me three or two like uh, one number honestly, one honestly like my like my you know this my craving has always been banana and almond butter <sighs> you're copying me i can't get home this is it this is just me i'm not copying you you're pre you prefer peanut butter i think no that's, we, we don't even have peanut i butter. know but you used to you used to prefer peanut butter you are so full of <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's almond butter that yeah. I would, yeah okay it's that or like i don't know i'll get like weird cravings sometimes but like if there's okay, i like, have another question okay let's shift because okay. we've talked about almond butter right um what's your next trip Ooh. um hmm i don't know uh i really okay so like what i have in my head what i'm i, I want to do in general i really want to go to vietnam um mm -hmm. cambodia and mm -hmm. like i mean a, a lot of my friends have suggested this one of my friends actually just came back from that trip for two weeks he went my friend hugo uh if you're Hi, watching hugo. man hey um he just went to vietnam and bought a bike and just traveled around the two countries um to uh, he traveled on the, uh, in the two countries just right. with his bike and his friend and they just drove and just that's it and i really want to do that okay because it would be cool so um i've done thailand meh bali my life i love bali so much um so i would really love to check out a different part of asia if not i don't know i'm just gonna go with the flow sometimes i meet random people and they're like hey i live here you want to come and i'm like okay you so, just uh, you just you just accept whoever invites you yeah okay <laughs> The mom here is, ch is is kicking in, going. What I mean, I just go with the flow. I just see some. One day I woke up and I was like, "Damn, I'm going to Bali in like two days." All right, well, this is what's happening. True. Sometimes, okay. so like it just, I'm just going with the flow. But yeah, okay. So we're gonna wrap this up. Yeah. We thank you for um, watching us and being part of our lives mm. in this remote way. Um, we are so we c people can find you under your Instagram account, yes. uh, Tasha Credle, mm -hmm. or your site is under construction right Still, now. Still, yes, Still, that's I okay. Know. Uh, so Tasha Gretel on Instagram is uh, is very I'm much I'm basically true Tasha Gretel everywhere. Yeah. I'm on Instagram Tasha Gretel, Facebook Tasha Gretel, right. Spotify. You can find my music that my mom dances to on my <laughs> Spotify under Tasha Gretel. Yes. I have my playlist there. She has amazing um, playlists. I yeah, love them. I'm I'm super connected to music. It's yeah. awesome. I also just started my YouTube channel that is finally back up. So I'll be yeah. starting under again Tasha Gretel. Okay. It's really cool to have a unique name. Yes. Thank you. And so. People, you all can find me as well on Instagram, Tatiana Judias, uh, YouTube. I have the channel as well where we post these mm -hmm. uh, shows. Um, you can also find me under my site. And uh, under my site actually is really the synopsis of all that I'm doing right now. Um, and it's under tatianajudias.com. And uh, we are also announcing that we're creating an event uh, early April. Uh, some of you might want to have more information. We're creating all that you will receive shortly probably in the next uh, two weeks i would say tasha is going to be um, on stage as well with me it's going to be a two day two two and a half day event uh, in the los angeles area um, we may take this as a tour eventually back to montreal or other cities if mm. um, some of you are expressing uh, an interest but it's uh, it's going to be an intimate account account an intimate uh, event uh, it's going to be a fiercely feminine immersive reset so if you are interested in shifting your life damn that sounds powerful it is because we're all about feminine power mm -hmm, we are thank you so much for joining us we love you See you next time. Bye. We'll never